G'day Aquarius, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. So we're going to do the love energy coming towards you because it's been a week and let's see what's going on this week. Thanks for all your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, all of those things are absolutely awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Alright, so this love reading uh, could be someone from your past, present or future. Cross watches, this could be you, this could be someone else completely different. Keep that in mind. Alright, love energy coming towards Aquarius. Three cards please. Ooh, one already. Excellent. I like it when they don't muck around. Two more, please. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Come on. Talk to me. Oh, yes, thank you. Let's do one more, please. Thank you. So we have, oh, unrequited love. <sighs> There's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going. Attraction or chemistry. Oh, no. They think it's unrequited. Isn't that sad? <laughs> retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So they're going into retreat mode. Possibly. Or well, they want to take you away somewhere to, to see if you are really interested and oh, let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay. So. Hmm. Says it all, doesn't it? They need to let go of those control issues. Bottom of the deck, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Calling in your soulmate. They're trying to call you in. They want to make that effort. Mm. You're in separation right now, though. And they're just trying to love themselves first. Yeah, till it's safe for them to come back again, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, I think that um, mm, yeah, control issues, the emperor. Yeah, it's, yeah, they're trying to control it all here. It's like, oh, no, nah. they're not even trying. They want to have a heart-to-heart, -heart, but they've already decided that you're not interested. <laughs> no, it's not a good way to start. All right, tell me about unrequited love. Why do they see it as unrequited love? Two of Cups. Okay. Ten of Cups. Oh my God. The Sun and Justice. What? 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 What's at the bottom? Three of Cups. Yeah, they think you're, oh yeah, they think you're not interested, but they don't want this. They want two of cups, ten of cups, you are their sunshine. They just want things balanced between you two. But they don't think you're going to be interested. They want a fair and honest relationship, I just heard. You are their happiness. They want happily ever after with you. Just you two. Mm, but... Three of Cups under the deck. Is it because they think there's another person? They want to grow with you or they just want to get together with you. 
They want to grow something with you. They want to offer that stability. They think about you day and night. They dream about you. But they think you might cut them out. They're hoping that wheel turns. Mm, they're going to be a disappointment. Are you going to say back off, buddy? Or do they get to offer you that stability, stable? Mm, yeah, they don't know. They think you're not interested. And, and, you know, you might not be. You know, just because someone's coming in offering all that stuff. If you're not feeling them, you're not feeling them. So, you know got to be some sort of attraction there for you to be interested if you're not if you don't you know have no interest in that person then the best offer in the world ain't gonna mean nothing this had the star and the ten of, pen, ten of pentacles jump out <sighs> yeah they're really wishing to have this with you Really wishing for this have this um, long term ten of pentacles, ten of cups. They're really wishing for that. All right, tell me about retreat. What is retreat here? King of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Disconnect from the world. I'm getting that, yeah, they're, they're backing off because they feel like you just see them as a player. I mean, this, that's your energy. That's a... Uh, Knight of Swords, that's air energy. A King of Swords, sorry. It's the Knight of Wands, it's fire energy. Well, they're retreating even though, like, all they can think about is charging forward passionately towards you. But they're retreating because they don't know. They don't know. Mm, they do want to to calmer waters with you oh, they've been watching you and studying you and working hard on self as well going within, soul searching they want us to charge forward triumphantly but they're stuck in their head conflicted and there's their scales again, is this someone from the past trying to balance things out and you're not interested anymore Oh, look after I said that is there's a six of cups. I love Terry. <sighs> or else they want to get you away somewhere so they can just talk to you, have this adult conversation with you, show their you their intelligence and their maturity and Possibly that will lead to some passionate action. A, a night of passionate action. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Alright, tell me about let go of control issues. Why do they have let go of control issues? Three of Pentacles. Well, they're working on it. They're working on letting go of those control issues. They're trying to let this unfold naturally. They're working on it. That's good. They're trying to. W they're working on it. Yeah, because they don't know. They really think you're not interested. Yep. Mastering their passionate action. And yeah, they may retreat because, of the, you know, it's clear in their mind that they're 
you know, they want this passionate action, but, you know, they've got to control themselves here. Because mm, they don't know which way it's going to go. They want to charge in. But they know that's not really balanced. That'll just cause a burden. But they see you as the lovers. You are their choice. They don't want to cause head games and they don't want you to get your guard up. They want to seem stable. Again, another king. They want to put an end to or transform this. Have the judgment be made that, you know, this comes back to reconciling the differences that you had. This could be someone from the past, like I said. They're waiting to see what you think of their offer. They're hoping it'll be successful and they get that wish fulfillment. To come in and offer you something stable. But they're, they're worried about their heartbreak. And that's why. Getting their heartbreak. And that's why they're holding back love. And getting another king. They do want to move forward with stability. And they're watching. And they're waiting to see. What you think of their cup. Wow. 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 They're working on those control issues. But boy, they want this amazing love with you. But mm, they know they have to back off from their actions. Because mm, they're doing some self work here. Yeah, wait. They know they've got to wait. Right, tell me about the love energy coming towards Aquarius. Three cards, please. Yep, and use them both angel decks today. Two angel decks. Tell us about this love energy. Three cards. Ooh, was it one? Don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I flipped it over. I know what it is. Alright, well, we got two that landed on the table. And one that flipped up, which says, in the near future. So, this could all go down in the near future. But we're not going to take it because three is enough. Okay, so we've got that's one I saw abundance. Ooh, they want this abundance with you. Listen to your intuition. Hmm, I think that might be what it told them to retreat a little bit. And then it's up to you. Okay, so they've made that choice to let go of control issues and just work on themselves a bit. Work on that. but And it's up to them to do that. But we'll find out more details on these as separate entities. Bottom of the deck, you're ready. They're ready. And willing to compromise and make things balanced. There's those scales again. Yeah, with justice and compromise. They're asking their angels to help them, looking for guidance and trusting that they'll guide them in the right direction. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> communicate clearly. Okay, you talking to me there, spirit? <laughs> Recovery. Okay. Okay, so they're ready. Maybe there is no compromise. Well, they're talking to their angels. They're asking for help from their angels. Trying to trust. Well, maybe that's what they need to do. Maybe that's why we got the nose. They need to do that. Maybe they're not doing that. Maybe they need to do that. Hmm. Well, that's just under the deck anyway. Main one is the you're ready, so they're ready. Mm, they're ready. Hmm. For that heart to heart conversation. I think they're ready for it. They're trying to keep their passions under control. 
They're ready for that heart to heart conversation. Yeah, they want something stable and grounded. All right, tell me about abundance. Why is that here? Queen of Pentacles, we just saw the king under the deck, and here's the queen. And the three of wands. So, they want something stable, loving, grounded. Queens are loving. All queens are loving. She is the loving queen of the 3D. Abundance, stability. Nurturing. And we have abundance. This is on abundance. So they want that. And they're willing to wait. Three of Wands. I'm getting them begging you. Please. Please. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Just need to put her there. Look, I'll give you my crown. Just please, please. Mm. Okay. Because mm. they don't think you're interested. And that's why they're begging. <laughs> mm, I shouldn't laugh. Um, you are their wish fulfillment. Yeah, you're an empress. They want, they, male or female... They see you as someone they can grow that abundance with. Yeah, they want to manifest with you. They want this sudden change to happen. The things between you two to suddenly change into a relationship. Or well, something that grows with abundance. They're willing to wait. But the tower says, hmm... Yeah, you want things a bit faster, mate. Yeah. Knight of Swords. <laughs> they want things a bit to go a bit faster. All right, listen to your intuition. What are they listening to their intuition about? Yeah. All right, we have... Oh, the Hermit. Excellent. Uh, oh, the Seven of Swords. Okay, so I'm getting, um, listen, their intuition is telling them, go within and work on that shadow side. You don't want to cheat this person. Yeah, don't lie to yourself. You're not perfect, mate. Yeah, we all need to do... No one's perfect. No one ever is. We always have self-work to do. Yeah, work on that shadow side. Those control issues. Yeah, your intuition is telling you, go within. Work on yourself. Look at where you're lying to yourself, mate. Because that can be deceiving yourself. Cheating lines, stealing from yourself. Mm. Yeah, are they cheating themselves out of this before it's, you know, they want this, but they're already marking it off as unrequited. Are they cheating themselves out of that? bottom here oh seven of wands yeah that's you know, stand your ground but it's also defending yourself and well they're all having a fight here yeah defending themselves against the toxicity the, I mean this is also pan um, which represents the animalistic side of us all we all are part animal um, the temptation, the, the, um, what is it, the instincts, 
the animal instincts that we have. This is what this represents. So fighting the animal instincts here. Trying to defend any toxic actions, but they know the truth is this is just going to cause conflict in a relationship. Mm, they want this Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's awesome love, but they've got to close out a cycle here. And work on whatever they're lying to themselves about. Make that choice. Well, you have to have stable action if you want your wish fulfillment. Passionate action. Mm, they might just walk away from that. Better come in stable. Mm. And that could be why they've retreated here with that passionate action. Because maybe they've tried it in the past and they know that doesn't work. That just makes you retreat. But, you know... If you're not interested in passionate action with them, I can see why they think it's unrequited love. Okay. Yeah, listen, they might have to listen to their intuition because if that's how you feel, they need to go in and do some self-assessment here because they're lying to themselves about this relationship it's, it's unrequited just saw the death guard flip up there yeah that's, okay tell me about it's up to you why is it up to them what, what is up to them mm, okay fair enough you got the devil. It's up to them. Come in as the devil. Follow that animal instinct. Don't use your brain and um, control yourself. But, you know, do you, you know, it's up to you. Do you want to enter this relationship? But it's going to be toxic. Because... Someone's not interested. It's just going to... Yeah, it's your judgment call, mate. It's up to you, but... You're lying to yourself here. I don't think they're interested. And it's up to you if you want to come in and... Check out what Aquarius thinks, but don't go all toxic on them if they make a different judgment call. Yeah, their judgment's undecided. Yeah, they need to meditate and think about this. Definitely listen to their intuition. You know, they want this new beginning and they, they want something stable to begin in this love, but... Karma waters with the past... Moving forward triumphantly, yeah, they might have to move on and put this in the past if they want to move forward to have a new beginning. Because I don't know if their offer is going to be accepted by this Empress. I think they'll be left out in the cold. Mm. They still need to work on something when it comes to emotions, mastering their emotions maybe when it comes to heartbreak. So, I mean, you you know... Perhaps working with others to control that emotion if they do get their heart broken by someone they think is amazing. Because it's not going anywhere. I don't know. I think they're going to find love somewhere else. I don't think they're the right person for you. I, I mean, I might be wrong. You might be interested. But... I'm not getting that. I'm 
You're just not getting that. I did see the clock under this deck before, so maybe in time. Uh, we've got healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, they're going to feel like they have to heal their heart, that this was toxic, but they knew it was unrequited in the start. Uh, tell us more about this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Okay. We have the mask. Not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. <sighs> Possibly because they feel it's unrequited or because they're not listening to their intuition. Love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Yeah, they're possibly going to send you a love message. Uh, you know, you're going to get some love call from this person. Keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional string along one night stand. But I think they want more than that. Or else they're lying about coming in with stability and it is just a love call for a one night stand and that's what they retreat after they get what they want. They use their, you know, their talk to con you into it. Make it sound like it's going to go somewhere but it just turns out to be toxic. Their intuition tells them that. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake. Perception, learn from the past, make memories. Now, I just got a flash when I started reading this of the words um, that they might take pictures of you in compromising positions. <laughs> if you, um, yeah, be careful. They may try and take um, pictures of you. Um, yeah, this is the, yeah, this could be just lust, not love. But they're a bit controlling, and they might be after your abundance even. Well, we've got soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Like, you know, not all soulmates are love soulmates. Some of them are just, you know, we learn stuff from everyone. Yeah, I don't know, maybe they are an old soulmate. And they made the wrong choices in the past. Maybe you have other options here. They're looking at your old pictures of you. Maybe they do have provocative pictures of you. From the past. Mm. They could act like it's unrequited. Uh, uh, bottom of the deck is the snake. See, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. See, every time I... Uh, you'll know which way it goes. Talking, they want to talk about stability. And then it's over. This is about you making healthier choices. Yeah, get out of that outdated thinking and replaying this over and over. Like, you know they're a snake, but you talk to them, or they know you're a snake. Either way, no judgment here, you know which way it fits. Someone's a snake, but they keep talking to them about stability, and then it's over. Yeah, got to learn to make healthy choices and stop replaying this over and over and over. <clears throat> Someone knows that's unrequited. And that's why there's a retreat. And then there's those let go of those control issues. I'm looking for some sort of abundance here. But making it wait. 
not they need to listen to their intuition because it's telling them you've got some self work to do because the you're lying to yourself. But it's up to them if they want to keep being toxic. Yeah, but can we talk? I'm sorry I lied to you. Hmm. Uh, okay. What would they like to say to Aquarius? I look at your pictures a lot. There's that camera again. Yeah. Who knows what they're doing while they're looking at them. All right. What would they like to say to Aquarius? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> They're those sort of pictures. Oh, that just knocked over the grim, the snake and revealed that grim. Oh, I've got to show you. Yeah, that just knocked this off the top and revealed that. Yeah. I think the snake's dead. <laughs> All right, well, we got two. Give me two more. One more. Thank you. All right. Mm, not showing me. <laughs> They're all landing face down. So, that's what, it's why all the fronts are grubby, because this is all wearing off on them. All right. I've hidden my love for you. Okay, that could be that false mask. So many songs remind me of you. Mm, that could be what that love call's about. You break my heart. Really? I don't know. Maybe when they found out it was un unrequited, it broke their heart. And I miss you. Hmm. I do miss you. Okay. I only want to be with you. Please contact me. I can't wait to see you again. I'm going crazy without you. I love your smile. Still love you. Afraid, yeah. Okay. So they only want to be with you. They want you to contact them. They can't wait to see you and they're going crazy without you. But I don't know. It's unrequited. Mm. Someone needs to control the uh, take control of their um well let go of their control issues. Do some inner work here because they're lying to themselves about something. But yeah, it's up to you, up to them if they want to come in toxic or not. Or if they want to engage in something that they know isn't going to work out. And they're going to see it as toxic because it's unrequited. Alright. Well, that's your reading. Um, I didn't do cards for you like I did last week's one because... Drum roll. I'm doing a reading just about you next. Alright? So the next readings to come out after these ones will be all about you. Not them. Just you. Alright. Anyway, that's what's coming up. Okay. So, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, good luck with this. Ooh, mm. hopefully it's, um, it doesn't turn toxic. Mm. Good luck. All right, all the best, take care, and I'll catch you later.